So it's currently 8.24, starting off the vlog bright and early on a Friday. Um, I have the little man with me. We're bringing Captain to the vet. He's getting his annual shots as well as he does have like a little like pimple like uh, mass on his eyelid. So we're gonna get that checked out. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Hopefully we can get it removed. It won't be too expensive. Everything will be good. Uh, after Jackson's situation, I'm kind of taking all the precaution I can with Captain, you know, getting it, catching things early before it's too late and you know god forbid he has to to move on so we're doing that and then after i drop him off since with the COVID, i have to drop him off and pick him up later in the day i can't just stay there so i'm gonna drop him off i'm gonna go down thrifting uh hit up a few thrift stores in the local area and then pick up captain and then i think we're going down to miami to look at the apartment again i'm pretty sure i got approved so we're gonna go check it out and uh, i should move in by next week so i'm super excited by that so today should be a good video. A little thrifting, a little bit more of a apartment. Uh, you have Captain, obviously, and people love when Captain's in it. Right, little man? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get it, guys. Captain's being stubborn and he didn't want to walk in, so the lady had to pick him up and drag him in. <laughs> That's a funny little stubborn guy. We just made it to the first thrift store. Let's hope we find something good. Let's hope we find something crazy. Or maybe we don't find anything else. That's the thing with thrifting is that it is a gamble, you know. You can hit big or you can hit nothing. And that's why I kind of got to be consistent. You have to continuously go thrifting because you never know what's going to be there. And if you don't go, you don't know. That's a good slang. If you don't go, you don't know. I should make some merch. If you guys want merch in 2021, let me know down below. I've thought about it, you know, just an extra way that you guys can support me, an extra way that I can make some money to, you know, continue making these content every single day because, you know, obviously it gets expensive. But let's go inside. Let's hope we find something good, guys. So all right, so I kind of just threw a bunch of stuff into the cart. I have no exactly what I what I got, but this Jackson, really nice, like, uh, neon jacket. Then I did grab this, it seems like it's an old school Adidas. It doesn't have much branding, it just has that little circle branding with some collared, like the black and yellow, nothing on the back. Super sick. And then a bunch of shirts you're gonna see that's like, why did I even grab that? I just grab stuff when, like, when a new rack comes out, you have to like fight people. So I found this Krispy Kreme shirt. I just thought it was a cool print. I don't think I'm gonna get it though. Krispy Kreme's Florida City. So I'm kind of just gonna be going with you guys seeing what I got because honestly I have no idea what I got. What's this, New Orleans Mardi Gras, birthplace of jazz. What is this? Um, I have no idea, it's just like a Mardi Gras shirt. What's this? A lot of stuff I'd have no idea. So this is all the Broadway films. It seems like you have The Lion King, Rent, Wicked, on the Hanes Beefy Tug. What's this? Fillers Jamboni. Okay, we'll put that back. 2003 World Series. What is this? Disney, Animal Kingdom, Asia. I didn't even know that they have an Animal Kingdom in Asia, or Disney in general in Asia. This is the Tennessee Aquarium, with the bright colors all throughout. Made in USA dolphin tag. Nothing on the back, sadly. And then two gun show shirts, which I'll probably end up leaving. I don't really need them. Florida gun show, I thought it maybe had like a big gun on the back or something. You guys know I love gun shirts, but just to represent gun show, it's not really worth it and then I did find two other items right here this is a woman's piece I just thought that the crosses were super sick I'm gonna show it to my friend see if she wants it but it's a size XL so it's probably gonna be too big on her and then we did find this Nike UM Miami football also I found these Zara like combat boots for my friend and then I got these for myself actually another lady gave them to me she got them before me but you have the Air Max 270s that thrift store wasn't too bad. I ended up leaving with both pair of shoes, uh, the jackets I showed you, the crew neck Miami Hurricanes I showed you, and then a bunch of those t-shirts. I ended up leaving like the Krispy Kreme shirts and the shirts that I showed you guys that I left. But uh, let's go hit up the next thrift store and uh, see if we find anything good. 
So my friend just sent me a video. She's actually at the next thrift store that we're going to. So I'm hoping she gets all the good stuff for me. But she sent me a video of this kid with dreads that's there. And I didn't ever put this on YouTube just because I didn't want to blast him like that. But basically there's this local resale. He ended up getting a worker at a thrift store fired because he was, I don't know if he was paying them, but he was basically making the worker hide vintage. So that way when he goes in there, he can get all the good stuff. And I saw it one day, like I literally saw it in front of my face. I got it to the thrift store before him and he came after and he was telling the workers to hide like this Nike Miami Hurricanes jacket. And I went in there just blazing a storm. I have it all on film and maybe I'll release it one day. But I'm talking, I went in on this guy, like calling him a pussy, saying that it's a fuck shit. Like I went to the manager and made a big commotion about it. Cause it's like, bro, you can't be pulling that like fuck boy shit. Like for early bird gets some worm. If you want to get stuff early, wake your ass up and get there early. Don't be pulling some snake shit, having workers hide stuff for you or paying workers do that. Like that's just shady. That's just shady. But she said that he's there. So I'm really hoping I run into him. He's, I haven't seen him since altercation. Uh, so I'm excited. Let's hope he's there. I know you guys hate the drama. You guys hate when I get into my little rants, but yeah, we're from Florida and this is how we do it. So as I was pulling into the parking lot, my friend was leaving out of the parking lot, but she works at 11 and it's like 10.55. So that's why uh, she had to get out of here. But let's see, I don't see his car. It's a pretty shitty car. So usually I can see it. Yeah, pussy, pussy, pussy. Yeah, pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> Let's see if he's here. Well, I do not see him. It's been like 40 minutes, though, so he probably left. Uh, let's quickly see what we can find. What is this? Kansas City Chiefs. Pick that up. Let's see any jackets? Bugle Boy, Seba. What's this? Brooklyn. It's a cool 10X. It's over here. Low key element quicksilver. <laughs> Easy money. It's Walt Disney with the spell out on the back. Easy twenty thirty dollars, especially because it's an XL, two dollars and fifty cents. It's crazy how people always sleep on money. Look at this. <laughs> Beardy Fest on the Vintage Hanes American Revolution It's kind of cool As I was leaving I found these Jordan 1's Then we found these Pharrell Adidas, so I'm gonna get these So it's funny because like I said that kid was there so you would think he would have bought those Jordans at least The Stan Smiths I have no idea I kind of took a gamble on them they were $4 um, the t-shirts, nothing too crazy, but like at least the Jordans, like why would you leave a pair of Jordans? They were $4, like you, that's an easy money. I just randomly looked up those Jordan ones. Dude, the cheapest ones are 120 on eBay. I guess there's the infrared uh, Jordan ones, but it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like a reseller that buys the same exact stuff I did, went there as soon as they opened and he didn't see that. It's like, it, it's wild. Maybe he saw it and it was too beat for him. I have no idea, but Either way, we got we got some good stuff. We got a pair of Jordans for four dollars. You can't you can't beat that. Now that we only found two things at this thrift store. We found this Polar Ralph Lauren super lightweight like hoodie jacket. Then we did find these Nike shorts. They do have some stains on them, so I'm gonna have to try to get them out. But that swoosh with the old school team Nike, super sick. Sadly, that thrift store didn't have anything. I guess I kind of jinxed myself when I said maybe we don't find anything. Um, when I was leaving, I did find a pair of Waffle Runners. I'll show you guys once I get back to the house. But uh, I just got the call from the vet. Captain's actually already ready to pick back up. So I have to go pick him up and then I'm gonna probably drop him off at the house. Then I'm gonna head down to Miami and uh, check out the apartment. So uh, let's go pick up the little man. I got the little man. Boy. Thank you. you. Awesome. Okay, so we've got two medications going home. This okay. one's going in the ears. Okay. Four drops to both ears once a day for 10 days. Okay, morning, night, does it matter? Doesn't matter, just okay. 24 hours. So if you do decide you want to do it in the morning, do it every morning. Okay. This was this is Apoquil, this is to help with the itching. Yeah. Well, little man got all his shots that he needed. He got allergy medicine and he got ear medicine because he has an ear infection. So you walk into the apartment. Now this is a little bit cleaner now that uh 
there's no workers in here, but we have huge front windows that looks off to the side, looks off to the front. I'm thinking what we're doing is I'm gonna put a huge couch, probably like an L shape right there and right there. Right here I'll put like a little side table and right here will be probably the TV. I'm gonna have two bar stools right here and then two uh, other like stools that I can tuck in right there. This is the full kitchen. Nice stainless steel appliances. It's a nice fridge, freezer, nice stove, dishwasher. Looking outside, tons of space, tons of cabinets, which is good because I'm gonna be cooking a lot in this house, so I'm super excited for that. This is gonna be the washer and dryer closet. Nice little like utility closet. Then to the right you do have my room. Nice huge room. The closet is my favorite part. Look how big this walk-in closet is, guys. This is bigger than some people's like apartment in New York City. I'm just gonna keep walking, I'll show you. It's like a full thing. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put a dresser right here, and then this side is gonna be my inventory room. Have inventory all here, all here, and then starting here is gonna be my personal clothes. Sneakers on the bottom. Over here, in this corner, I'm gonna have my king size bed. And then on this wall, I'm gonna do a projector. So I'm gonna install a projector up top and it's gonna be a nice little movie room. And then this is a nice little bathroom. Shower. It's a nice mirror. I'm super excited. There's just a few things that they have to fix. Um, maintenance wise and repair like the walls paint some things I am gonna paint the walls these walls are not gonna be this color right now it's like a green gray and then in here is a gray I'm actually gonna do the whole apartment black so stay tuned for that I'll probably make a video about that but I did get approved I am moving in uh, probably next week if anything maybe two weeks from now but yeah it's gonna be the new apartment much bigger I'm super excited it's like the lighting is crazy so yeah this is gonna be a new chapter and whatnot but I need to call my realtor now and call him and let him know some things that need to be fixed and whatnot and uh, yeah let's head back home